There's bracket finals. One of these teams is going to finish in the top two. The other one, they're going to have to settle with third. We're kicking this one off with capture the flag on Onslaught. Instinct kind of struggled last time against Triggers Down. But you know what? They're not playing Triggers Down. They're playing straight ripping. And let's see how it all goes down. Slot next. And thank you for creating this map. T-Squared is enjoying it right now. T-squared taking down Victory X for the battle of top A control. I think that is two down for, it looks like Instinct, and now straight ripping, already going for a flag as Neighbor had it tossed out. He's taken down, legit last member alive, and he is gonna be taken out as well, and that is gonna allow a counter cap here for Instinct, quite possibly, but Lunchbox has gotta be careful of some nades coming in. Lunchbox taken down, but he did put the flag in. Roy kicks it off with a double kill. Now looking on B-side, he's got two players spawn, and he's going to go back towards the middle. Smart move here, but Legit was waiting for him top middle. Let's take a look at Legit, who is running top center. Legit's patient here. Were you surprised by straight rippings, I guess, balls to try and grab that first flag? Oh, yeah, they I only had two down. I, th I think they were probably just saying, you know, whatever, we're going to make a statement here, try and cap early, because we've seen that before. You get a quick cap like that. You well, know, triggers down it in 30 seconds, right, so exactly. it can be done. It makes a statement. It makes the other team have to play more aggressively, gets them out of their game. Plus, I don't think straight ripping, honestly. I think they just think they can do whatever they want, whenever they want. Well, check this out. He had two shots left in his gun, and he used it for the killing spree. He saw Roy bottom middle, pulled the trigger, nothing happened. Tried to grab the flag, but it's a little too late. That was legit, but now we are going to check out Neighbor. He's on a double kill right now. They're spawn camping here at the Instinct base. And Neighbor's on a killing spree of his own. So Legit has a killing spree. Neighbor on one. Things are not looking good for Instinct, but they still got the 1-0 lead. But right now, they need to fight out of their base because they have pressure coming at them from all directions. Jumping on board with one spot from Instinct. He picked up a kill there. Neighbor went down, and now they're out of the base. And Lunchbox trying to do big things bottom middle. Got two players on B side, tossing some bank grenades. And check out how that grenade landed perfectly where his opponent used to be. Said you got to lead it where they're going to be, Lunchbox. Anyway, moving into the base. He's got the flag in front of him. He's got two opponents in front of him. Instead of grabbing the flag like I would have in any other random amateur, he gets a kill first and then runs the flag back behind his teammates. Good play right there. That's right. That's what separates the pros from... Uh, Super club, Super club uh, who are kind of phenomenal. Kind of phenomenal. What? <laughs> the thing here that I like is that instinct, putting the pressure on C squared and straight ribbon, not hanging back. They're trying to pull the flag every opportunity they get, but they're making sure they've got a couple of guys down for straight ribbon before they do so. You know, right now I'm taking a look at Macchio, and I'm kind of impressed by Instinct right now on how much more aggressive they are playing than against uh, than when they put against Triggers Down. They are constantly putting the pressure on Straight and Ripping, not always winning every single battle, and they're not even going for map positioning. But things seem to be working out as Lunchbox finds T Squared. He was hiding in a corner. Hanging in the corner. I ain't got no shields. All right, well Lunchbox picks up the beatdown. He's taken out. That's going to be two down for both teams as both teams are trying to get set up and establish some map control. Flag weak. What's that? Going B. Going B. Macchio pulling two pucket jumps. I can never make that. I told Casey, pull that wall out a little bit farther because I can never do it. It's so frustrating. But things seem to be working out for Macchio. Anyway, as he picks up the beat down there on El Might Warrior. Now, Sunny D, there's tons of communication this time around. We didn't see it last time against Triggers Down. What has changed here? I think they got a wake up call. Triggers Down spanked them on the bottom, and now they're saying, no, we're not ready for that. We want to come back and we want to beat you. All right, well, Macchio definitely showing a new life, new energy, and a great PR. I kind of want to listen in with this instinct team right now. No, now. Meow. Yeah. Phenomenal. Are you kidding me? 
championship match but before we get to that we got to finish this one it's 22 30 left on the clock that of course means only 7 30 left in regulation let's jump on board with Macchio who is trying to get out of his base he's waiting on this team to spawn but straight Riffin is just constantly putting pressure on them every time you look up here on Macchio's screen you see two or three red X's that of course means his teammates are on respawn he's alone but oh, somebody found you well, every time I look at his screen he's got a green hat on all right, well, let's go to Neighbor right now. Neighbor's trying to do big things, get some help with T2. Oh, and look at that. I forgot the flag. No biggie. Flag. Legit steals it from him. We're going to Legit's screen. Right. Well, Legit's moving it bottom B side. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome when you can battle for the flag and still put it in without getting shot. I love it when Bucket gets excited. It means that the stage bounces just that much harder and that much higher. <laughs> That's right. Let's He's see this guy to ride this ride. <laughs> 42 inches. All right, well, the flag is out for both teams. Victory X and Instinct trying to move it B-side. Looks like the flag is returned, and they may be putting in number two. They need to keep this momentum going, and they cannot let... Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness! And, and what's it? They just went up. No, but the flag is put in oh, no. anyway. All right, but here's the final capture. Forward dead. For instinct, I think this is gonna be it for game one, and what an awesome grenade can take him down. But nope. Oh, and there it is, Mackiel clutching it. What's it? Putting it in. Alright. That was kind of nasty right there. Mackiel, nice grenade, but not enough. Straight ripping takes game one. Surprised? Thought he was on fire. What happened? Whoop. Well, as you heard T-Square say, I thought he's on fire. Roy seemed to struggle that time around, only 13 kills. But on the other side, red team, they dominated. T-Square with 21 kills. Neighbor, the same. 
legit right behind him with 20, and he stole a neighbor's flag. That was my favorite play of the whole. That wasn't very nice of him. I thought they were friends. Why yeah. would he steal his flag like that? <laughs> no, Elmite Warrior, of course, being a great support player, putting on 21 assists. Now, Straight Rippin' is up 1-0 to zero against Instinct. Losing bracket finals. We will be back with Game 2 right after this commercial break. Woohoo!